breaking news now with Republican Congressman Peter King of New York. He is a member of the Homeland Security Committee. Congressman, thanks for being with us. And you just heard this story about this Ohio man, an ISIS supporter. He was planning this attack on the U.S. Capitol. It seemed like he was about to get operational on it. How big of a threat is someone like this, this man, Chris Cornell, or, or other terror sympathizers for that matter? Yeah, this is something, Brianna, that ISIS has perfected more than any of the other Islamist groups. And that's their, their social media is so sophisticated that they can appeal to the people on the edges. We saw that in Canada back in October. We saw it in New York in October uh, when the uh, deranged person attacked the two police officers with an axe. Now, he had been uh, uh, following ISIS on social media. So this type person today seems as if he has mental issues and he was inspired by ISIS. So in addition to actually planned, coordinated attacks, they now have been able to uh, somehow plug into these people who are on the edges of society and motivate them to carry out these type of attacks. You have French security services now. They've identified yet uh, another suspect in the Paris attacks, an <clears throat> accomplice of Amadi Koulibaly. <clears throat> How much more could this unravel, do you think? And by that, I mean, are we going to see many more potential accomplices revealed? Well, Brianna, this certainly is an ongoing investigation, and there's at least several more, I think, uh, uh, who are going to be uh, uh, found, or uh, uh, detected, have been involved, and uh, it, it could go beyond that. I mean, right now, this is really, un, un, uh, it's, it's just being un uncovered day by day, and we know of at least several who, you know, left the country, who left before the attacks. That indicates perhaps the, uh, you know, an actual cell that was there. And so, again, the French are uh, doing all they can. They're working closely with us and all our partners really in uh, Europe and, and, and the Middle East. So this is something that, is, that really is of concern because it certainly goes beyond the three. It goes beyond the four. And, uh, again, how far it goes, it's really too early to tell. But it certainly is being run down as much as possible. Okay, much more to talk about with you, Congressman Peter King, a key voice on Homeland Security. I'm going to sneak in a quick break, and we'll have more talking about AQAP sure. in Yemen coming up.